Are you thinking about getting your next credit card with Navy Federal and are you wondering how to get approved for it? If so, then you've clicked on the right video. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sanford and you are now watching Just Money, where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. But on this video, we're going to be talking about when to apply for your second credit card with Navy Federal. And I'll also show you guys a free online tool that you can use to get pre-qualified for your next credit card with Navy Federal with only doing a soft pool. So stay Stay tuned and I'll also go over how to build some internal points with Navy Federal Credit Union. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, now let's start with some details you should know. Navy Federal only lets you have three credit cards on the personal credit side. They do, however, allow you to have additional credit cards as an authorized user though. So basically you can have three credit cards on your own and then you can have more as an authorized user. And also secure credit cards do not count as one of your three. So you can have three cards plus a secured credit card. But if you own a business, then you can get three additional credit cards on the business credit side. Navy Federal has something called a 90 91 three rule and what this rule means is you can apply for your next credit card 91 days and or three billing statements after you got approved from your previous Navy Federal credit card. And that's why it's called the 913 rule. And this rule applies to whether you're applying for your second car with Navy Fed or even your third car with Navy Fed. However, I do feel like this rule still applies to you if you don't have excellent credit. Let me explain. If you have bad to decent credit, then you have to be a little bit more patient on how fast you should be applying for additional credit cards with Navy Federal, especially when you're getting your first credit card. Now, if you have excellent credit, then you can apply for your second or third credit card a lot sooner than the 91 days. Again, it really depends on your credit relationship that you built with Navy Federal and all of your overall credit history, of course. Okay, now let me give you some tips on some things you can do to help your chances of getting approved faster. Tip one, as I mentioned before, wait 91 days before applying for your next credit card, especially if you don't have excellent credit. You need to wait 91 days before applying, otherwise you're going to get denied if you don't wanna wait. Tip two, use the pre-qualification tool on the app. And this is gonna be a soft pull on your credit, not a hard inquiry. The pre-qualification tool is found in the app under the credit cards tab. Then you click on the pre-qualify me button, then you have to log back in and then you need to enter your income and you'll find out if you're pre-qualified or not. Tip three, another thing that may help your chances is putting yourself in a position to where you have a low utilization ratio, meaning not owing more than 30% on your overall credit limit. If you want a higher chance of approval, then try to get your utilization ratio under 10%. If you can, if not, then under 30% is fine as well. Now let's say you're being close to being maxed out on your current credit card. What should you do in that situation if you can't afford to bring your debt down? If you guys don't know, then here's tip number four. And a lot of people don't know about this hack, so here it is. Okay, if you have a high limit on your credit card, then I would recommend to apply for a credit limit increase on that credit card versus getting your second credit card. By getting a credit limit increase, that would then lower your credit utilization ratio. For example, if you have a credit limit of $5,000 and you have a balance of $2,500 on that $5,000 credit card, then you are going to be at a utilization ratio of 50%. And that's going to be because you're using 50% of your credit limit. So if you apply for a credit limit increase instead, and let's just say, for example, they approve you for a credit limit increase of $2,500, then that would put your credit utilization utilization ratio under the 30% mark where you need to be. And credit card companies prefer that you stay at 30% credit utilization or even lower than that because anything after that, you're gonna be considered a high risk to them. And if you're considered a high risk to them, then guess what's gonna happen? Denied. And also, if you guys are finding any of this information helpful, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button, I would truly appreciate that. But anyways, just make sure to not use the new funds in your new credit limit increase. Wait until the limit gets reported on your credit report first. Then your credit score is gonna go up, then you apply for your next credit card. Because doing it this way, you're gonna have way better chances. What's important here is to build a higher score while still establishing that relationship with Navy Federal. I hope you guys know what I mean by that. If you don't, then I'll give you some tips on how to do that. Here's tip number five. Building a relationship means building your internal data points with the institution. Navy Federal has its own internal score rating that they grade you on depending on how you use your account. So here are some ways to build that internal score. First, start by simply using your account, such as your checking and your savings account. And if you have a job that can pay you direct deposit, then I would definitely set that up. That alone in itself is huge. That literally shows and proves that you have income coming in weekly or even bi-weekly or however you get paid. Also, deposit some money into your savings account. Any amount is better than none. Because remember, this is just planning ahead and planning for your future. We really have to think longevity. I'll give you an example. If you deposit $25 every week, just $25 in your savings account, then that's $100 a month. And then in three months, then that'll be $300 in your account. And you can keep those $300 in your savings account and then go get a savings secured loan, aka a pledged loan. You get a pledged loan from Navy Federal for six months and then now you have an installment loan reporting to your credit report. And in as little as six months, your credit score is going to go from 80 to 100 points up. Not to mention you're still building 
up your internal score in Navy Federal at the same time. But anyways, I know that was a lot of information, so let's just do a really quick recap of this video. If you have bad credit, wait 91 days to apply. If you have excellent credit, then you can apply sooner, but everybody's case scenario is different. If you're unsure what to get, then use the pre-qualification tool that I mentioned, so that way you can see what you're pre-qualified for before applying. And if you're maxed out on your credit limits, then apply for a credit limit increase versus getting another credit card. And don't forget to use your checking and savings account to build a internal score with Navy Federal. Make small deposits on a regular basis before applying for your next credit card. If you don't have any installment loans on your credit, then get a secured savings loan, aka a pledge loan. Once you pay off your loan, apply for a bigger unsecured loan and then just keep repeating the process. And I'll also talk about what a secured savings loan is, aka a pledge loan in my next video. So if you guys haven't already, consider subscribing because I will be going over what a pledge loan is in my next video. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is not financial advice. So do your own due diligence before doing anything. These are things that I have done and it's worked for me personally. Now I have over 30,000 just in credit limits with Navy Federal. Not to mention, I also got approved for a car loan with Navy Federal and a 50,000 unsecured personal loan as well. But comment down below if you guys have any questions. I really hope that you guys found this information helpful and as always, use your guys' credit responsibly. I make these videos to empower you guys. So do the right thing with your credit and your credit will reward you 10 times more in the future. And also, if you guys are interested on how I got high credit limits with Navy Federal, then just hit one of the links in the description below. I'll put a link to one of the videos that shows you how to get high limits with Navy Federal. And again, on this channel, we talk about personal and business credit, real estate, and you know, other financial related topics like how to get high limits on credit cards. We talk about credit cards such as Chase, Navy Federal, Amex, Discover, etc. We're here. This is your one-stop shop. We also talk about real estate and a few different mortgage loan products. So if that's something you're interested in learning more, then I would consider subscribing. And I also have videos on how to build business credit as well. So you guys know what to do. And also share some of your experiences that you guys have with Navy Federal. Let me know what kind of credit cards you have with them or what you're working on to get your internal score higher. I would like to know. I think everybody in this community would like to know. So let us know. And real quick before I end this video, for those that don't know, I'm a licensed real estate agent and I'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator. So if you're looking for funding for a home or if you're looking to buy or sell a home in Southern California, then I definitely can help you out. All my information is in the description below and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching.